All right, I've moved the wind turbines up there. It doesn't seem to matter where you actually place them. And that has given me uh, a bit of extra kilowattage available. So I'm going to make sure I build all of the screens I would have here. So I can track my progress even whilst I am in this place, which is not, uh, not my main hub. Or at least I don't think I have a main hub, frankly. And I'll need a blueprint. Need a silicon. I'm sure I have one. No, I don't. Okay. I've got loads around here anyway. And then I can do another explore back in there. Just when I'm on top of everything out here. There was some right here. Okay. That'll do. I still haven't crafted a progress screen. But I need an unlock for that. Uh, blueprints. Alright, so I'm set up here. I am working towards... My progress screen is at... Uh, is a heat level thing, so I need a lot of heat. I need 2 NK. Nano Kelvin? I'm not entirely sure. Which is presumably going to be a thousand... Well, so 1 Nano Kelvin is presumably going to be a thousand Pico Kelvin. And... I don't get the T2 veggie tube, which increases oxygen. Okay. Weirdly, these seem to like sort of interact with each other. So the heat is uh, discovered through oxygen levels, and the oxygen levels are discovered through the heat, which sort of makes actually a level of sense because plants require heat. So I'm going to need to make a lot more of these. I'm actually going to need to start really generating uh, heat and oxygen quickly. So I think this is nanopascals. Pico Kelvin, parts per quadrillion or quintillion, God knows what, and TI, I don't know what that number means, but it needs to be very big. I'm almost at uh, solar panels, which will be good for energy. Okay, thinking. I've got a bunch of stuff available, so my next... I think what I should do is... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't I have a thing? Uh... I've got a... there, in here. I've got a blueprint microchip I can unlock in here. And if I decode this microchip, it gives me tier 1 mining speed. I don't have any miners. When do I get mining? Generates pressure in the atmosphere by drilling into the ground. Okay. What do I want to focus on? Let's think of something. Oxygen would probably be a good idea. Between living compartments. Advanced craft station. What about... Is there anything that's like better living compartments? Because I'd like to do better... The biodome. Okay, so heat. I need more iridium and iron. But heaters can only be built inside, it would seem. I, I probably need heating rooms. Like, just filled with these things. It requires a lot of energy, naturally. You know what? Actually, what I will do is build another veggie tube. And since I've got this, I might as well use the Shanga seed. So what do I need for that? Iron, ice, and magnesium. Ice is right here. What am I doing for water? I've got a spare water on me. Okay, let me just quickly test something. Veggie tube needs to be placed inside. Doesn't actually say, but you insert a seed to generate O2. I'm going to... Hmm. You know, I really don't think this is the best place for it because I want to expand that way. In fact, I'm going to. I'll, let's do this now. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Let's... Turn that off. I'll leave that there, and we'll line up some random shit over here. Of course I'm low on iron. I don't suppose I have any spare, do I? No. <laughs> iron! I need a miner for iron. Food level low. Yeah, I should eat, by the way, shouldn't I? Don't remember to do that. It's like my real life. 
trying to remember to eat occasionally. Silicon. What is this? It looks like a cave I can enter later. I mean, it seems like it, it should be, shouldn't it? Let's just make sure we're collecting all the iron. I'll collect some titanium while we're here. Because that never hurts. Make sure we collect all the random shit. That's uh, immediately useful to me. Especially iron. I need a lot of that. I'm really learning that now. Hydration level low. I'll get to that. So yeah. This is going alright. Slow progress. I'm sure you could start this off a lot more quickly. But so far, this seems like it's going pretty good. Okay, let's put down a tier 1 veg tube next to the heater. The plants will love the heat. Where's that seed? In here. Shenga seed. There we go. And that will have increased oxygen to 30 ppq per second. So, one every three seconds, roughly. That needs to go up faster. How are we doing with energy? I have 2.16 kilowatts available. Let's make another heater, then. Okay. Seems like a good idea to have rows of stuff. And I've got a solar panel. Lovely. What does that cost to make? It makes a lot more energy. I need. I just need an extra cobalt, and I think I might... No, oh, I've definitely got some around, because I don't pick up cobalt very often. Now... Okay. Just wondering if it, if it actually... Like, if I place it in the shade under here, is that a bad thing? I feel like it is. I, I'm going to treat it like it is, so I'm going to actually build a new solar farm elsewhere. Hydration level is critical. Drink of water. And collect an ice, just while I'm remembering that. If I can find an ice to collect. So let's build a... Oh no, you can't build on these rocks. You can't build anything on this rock, which seems silly to me, but apparently not. Which is why I got the wind farm set up there. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want this relatively out of the way, because it doesn't matter where I place it. I don't have to worry about, like, wiring it up or anything. It's not, like, satisfactory, where you have to run lines everywhere. Okay, that's producing 6.5 kilowatts. Loads of energy. So let's make another one. I just need two more cobalt for that. You know, it's always good to have loads of energy, but you know what's better than loads of energy? Shit loads of energy. So if I've got the capacity to overbuild this, let's... Oh, I'm running low on oxygen, so let's use an oxygen tank. It only costs cobalt. Scrolly, scrolly, scroll. I could use the buttons. Alright. I presume they just passively generate power at all times. I don't have to worry about, you know, silly things like the actual position of the sun and its proximity to walls and so forth. Let's find an ice to pick up before we head back. Because I used up the last of the water I had on me. I have lots of energy to work with now, so probably let's expand this out and build the rest of that, uh... Uh, build, uh, build the rest of this place out. Okay, how are we doing? I have got 13, uh, nearly 14 kilowatts available with two solar panels. I don't think I'll be building any more wind turbines. Waste of iron. Okay, pressure would probably be worthwhile increasing. Because I'm not doing anything with that. So, actually, pressure's going up. Actually, at a, about as much of a clip as you might expect. Still haven't got the tier 2 veggie tube, but that'll be coming. Okay. How much iron have I got on me? One. I don't know what I do with super alloy. I've got titanium. 
All right, I'm going to expand out this way. No, I need I need two iron. I've got two titanium and one iron. I need the other way around. Freaking iron. You know what? Best of all. Oh, mining speed. Oh, mining ore. Okay, not an actual miner. This gives me a microchip. Okay, cool. I now know that. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to need more of that. Let's make another... Oh, I'd make another oxygen capsule, but I'm out of cobalt. <laughs> I think I might go back in here and uh, have a more direct exploration before I go anywhere else, because I really need to bump up my terraform terraforming speed. But, you know. I'm not. Also, I need food soon. So it's probably, now is probably a time to go exploring. So I'm going to stick all this away. I'll do some more expansion later. One water, two oxygen. When I use my last oxygen, I'll bail out. And there should be more of that sort of stuff in there. We get iron for deconstructing debris. I'll take another heater. And I got a little... There's something inside. Uh, another blueprint microchip. That'll be nice. Okay. Let's keep looking. I can see why this game has gotten such a positive response. More space food. I must need aluminium for something. I'll take some with me. Yeah, take all of that. I'll even deconstruct it for the extra iron. I can run back and forth. Can't I? Yeah, I keep accidentally deconstructing that. Eggplant seeds, some more space food. Yep, yeah, oxygen level's low. I can wait a second. Take more aluminium, titanium, and iron. Let's quickly do that. I'll take another Shenga seed. Uh, I'll take the eggplant seeds, and what I'll do is deconstruct this, and we'll head back. Okay. A lot of running back and forth to uh, outposts, but otherwise, this is going pretty, pretty well. I like the progression and how it sort of, you can see how it would scale pretty rapidly. I haven't even thought about a craft screen. No, I need to unlock the thing in the thing. Yep, I keep forgetting how that works. And then I've got to reach a blue sky at 70, uh, 175,000 TI terraforming. I'm nowhere near it yet. Let's uh, load in that microchip, which gives me T1 agility boots. Aluminium and fabric. I can do that. I've got the aluminium. And I've got the fabric. So that's what you need that for. Let's get agility boots. I wonder what they do. Increases movement speed. I should have expected as much. Not so as you'd notice. Some more cobalt. Just mostly to get that out of the way. Um, I'm going to put down, since I've got this Shenga seed... I'm going to put down another veggie tube. I need ice and magnesium. I ought to have at least some of that. I guess I'm going to put it here. Insert in a food grower. Okay, that's how you'd make food. Got it. But I want the Shanga seed. So making more oxygen. I've got plenty going on here. I'm definitely not using that much energy. So, oxygen levels are going up in parts per quintillion, I presume. So, I should get an indoor ladder. Eventually. Okay. I'm almost at the tier 2 veggie tubes. What I'll do is deconstruct these ones and replace them with tier 2s. Same with goes with the heater. Because it'll just cost me energy then. And a 
couple of components, but I'll be saving space. Communications antenna. Okay. Uh, I need a new, I need a new drill, I think. Let's put that one down then. I assume this needs to be outside. I'm gonna put it up near the. I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it up near the wind turbines. That seems like a good place to put that. Nearer the energy. I've got one iron on me. And I need another cobalt so I can make an extra oxygen thing and then head back into the the relic. The the, the relic, the wreck. And let's make another oxygen capsule. I don't have any ice on me. I need water soon. I'm hoping there might be more up there. Okay. Need some space food, put away the eggplant seeds, the rest of the well, I'll have one space food on me, put away the iron. Actually, I've got a lot of iron on me. So what I'll do is I'll take all this iron. And I'll expand out that way. And that'll need to go somewhere else now. Um. Hmm. Can it fit? Can I just squeeze it in there? Yeah, I can stick it in there. Next to the desk. That'll do. Alright. Iron. All of this is good. I assume. Hydration level's critical. Got it. I'm gonna deal with that. I just want one more ice. Actually, probably best getting more ice. There's some ice. There's the tier 2 veggie tube. Grab some extra random crap. I will need more storage fairly soon. Turn all the ice into water. Because that's a good idea. Take the space food. Yeah, I'm going to need another storage crate. There's some iron in there I can use to build another one. Can I stick it on top? You'd think you could stack it. But apparently not. I'm going to have to figure out storage solution eventually. I'm going to have to sort stuff. But let's head back into the wreck. A little bit extra ice. Just because, you know. I don't want to run out of ice when I need it. God, it went that way. I'm going to have to do the thing with these, with exploring these, where I just sort of hold a direction and make sure I've cleared everything out. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hold the, the right. Collect everything. Fabric. And of course, deconstruct it for the iron. And it looks, sounds like there's some kind of storm. Deconstruct technical debris. So all of this could be deconstructed. You can actually get a lot out of here. What does that give you, by the way? Tier 2 deconstruction tip required? Okay. I deconstructed something. I'm I'm inside. I'm safe from that for the time being. Fabrics and food. I I don't know if I want the uranium. I definitely want that. There is also like what sounds like a war happening outside. Kinda wish you could just automatically press a button to deconstruct stuff. There's a tier 2 device. I don't think I've unlocked that yet. No, you can. Leaves a lot of random shit in the middle. Because I didn't have the space for it.
Well, hopefully that won't despawn. Hmm. Ooh, mail. Alright, I'll come back to that. I've got a lot to do around here. I'm hoping that hasn't uh, done too much damage to my shit. I think I might have just uh, hidden away from that. Uh, it looks like it mostly battered down the mountain over here, and I think it's broadly over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Lovely. Let's make another oxygen capsule for my next outing. Sort everything through. Alright. I'm going to move eggplants out. Let's fill this full of iron and aluminium. Can't do ice. Take that eggplant seed. Aluminium. And I'm going to put mostly, like, constructed materials like fabric and stuff that isn't, you know, minerals in this one and mostly minerals in this one. I better use this, because as good as it is, having it in storage, it'd be better, you know, making this go up, making numbers go up. So, how am I doing for energy? Now, I've got the tier 2 veggie tube, so let's, let's do that. Let's take these out. Deconstruct the tier 1 veggie tubes. And make tier 2s. So, silicon, ice, ice, iron, magnesium. So, lots of ice will be required. I can make... Two... I've got the magnesium, silicon. Silicon is what I need. I've got one silicon. I'll need more. One of these here is better than, presumably, two tier ones. So that takes more energy, but seems to produce far more per second. That's going up a lot faster. So... Oxygen, 96 per second. This one, 12 per second. Yeah, better, a lot better than one. One silicon and one ice. Let's make sure both of those are going. Silicon, 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 silicon. Looks like iron isn't. Okay. That has brought us up to three per second. Uh, and plenty of energy available still. So that's good. That'll get us to indoor ladder very quickly and then to tier 2 heater actually quite quickly indeed. And tier 3 oxygen tank. Alright. Heat. We really need to upgrade tiers. What am I next at? Screen progress. Alright, heat is my next concern. I have iron and silicon. I need iron and silicon for that. I got the iron. And I ought to have another blue... Uh, uh, no, I already unlocked that. I was going to say I had a blueprint microchip. Okay. Let's see if I can think of a way to move forward. Well, heat, 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 heat. I need more silicon for that. Let's get that going and then I can replace the heaters. In fact, I'm almost considering making another veggie tube. I've got I've got one more seed, haven't I? Silicon for that. Iridium, I need uh what do I need? Two iron. Oh, indoor ladder, there it is. 
And the tier 3 backpack. That's already happened. I don't know. It's hard, like, I'm- is there not a way to, like, set things up so I can see what I- what materials I might need on my screen, like you can in Satisfactory? Let's just let that lie. Let's put another heater. Yeah, that does go faster. Alright, so we got more heat done. What do we just unlock? Indoor ladder, and there's the backpack, which is at, well, tier 3 backpack. I should unlock that quickly. So, I've got the tier 2 backpack. I need more uh, aluminium, titanium, and silicon. I'll be there soon. Heat is going up very slowly, but I can, I, I will expand that faster once I've got the tier 2 heaters. Alright, what, 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 what do I need? Have I got any chips that might allow me to upgrade stuff? See, the mining speed isn't really a problem for me. Alright, aluminium, titanium, silicon. I think I need the silicon, but otherwise I should have the aluminium and the titanium, obviously. Okay. Titanium, silicon. I need to find silicon. I'm enjoying this a lot. I feel like I should just make that clear. I'm already thinking about how I can improve and uh, multiply my output. And more storage space. Whoop. That's good for me. And good for exploration. Uh, let's have stuff be stuff. So let's just take everything I've got and see what I can make. Can't build another heater. I really want a... Uh, that was a noise. I think I just went plus three and that made a noise. It might have been. Tier 2 solar panel at 17,000. Alright. Almost at the tier 2 heater. Hmm. Maybe I should make more solar panels. Everything requires silicon now. Now I'm limited by silicon. I've got plenty of iron. Which means I almost want to expand this. I want to build more. The thing is, if I build that under here, it doesn't actually reach the ground now. Which bothers me, because... You know. I'm sure it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming physics isn't a problem here. But every part of me wants to make sure it looks at least viable. I'm out of titanium. That should be fine. There should be some right here. Right here. Oh, Christ! I forgot about oxygen! I think that's what I died of. I didn't lose any of my gear, but I think I lost all of my items. I was just over here. Okay. <laughs> That's what we call just getting in the moment and forgetting about how the game works. I just- I, I think I was just ignoring something. Alright, I lost a lot of items, but that's okay. Pretty much all the materials. I'm gonna have to do that again. Why is it so bright now? Let's collect. They might have all been here, I don't know. I don't know. That was a- that was a fuck up and a half. I apologize. I must- I, I must just not have been paying attention to my oxygen. Okay, let's get some more cobalt and have some extra oxygen tanks. There's the tier 2 heater. I'm- I think I got lucky, kind of, on that one. 
I missed this. I think I was listening out because I've played so much Subnautica. I think I was listening out for the oxygen thing. I might have just got. I think just stuff gets spread around. It's getting nighttime. Is that going to affect my energy output? Does it matter? That means I'm out of water, by the way. No, solar panels still seem to producing be producing 13 kilowatts. Okay. Two of those, and don't be so dozy. What am I doing for food? Luckily, I kept my food in a... <laughs> You know, which I can't make easily elsewhere. All right, so I'm at the tier two heaters. Now, what do they take to make? Uh, two iridium, silicon, titanium, iron, aluminium. Oops, I pressed a button. So let's make some of those. I need one aluminium. Let's just, I'll tell you what, I'll deconstruct one of these. I lost all the iridium I had, didn't I? <sighs> Stop pressing the button. Ah, that's a problem. Okay. This is not an emergency. I'm going to have to go back inside and get some more iridium because I'm pretty sure I just lost all of the iridium I had. It was that, if I'm remembering my recipe correctly. All right, let's just stick that there so it's making stuff. All right, I need more iridium. Or I could take two of these down, actually. Yeah, this doesn't need to be here, does it? Just for the time being, it would be better for it to be making stuff. Titanium. What's the other one? Aluminium. Alright. Ooh, that's actually... Yeah. Where should that go? I'm gonna stick it over here. Near the wall, just like that. So it's producing a lot more heat. Alright, that's going up a lot faster. And soon we'll have uh, screen progress done. How are we doing for energy on that? 7.7 .7 kilowatts. That's soon not going to be enough. But we're moving towards a tier 2 solar panel at a, mm, at a rate. I mean, we're, it's happening, but very slowly. Alright, I need to head back inside. I'm going to stick the remainder of my material in here. Do I have any ice? Yes, I do. Let's make another water bottle then. Drink that. Eat the space food. Eat that one too. And I'll have to hope I get more space food until I can make a food grower and put these eggplant seeds in. But I think it's time to uh, re-explore. Let's not forget about oxygen. Keep an eye on that. It's a good time to learn that lesson, I think. Let's not mine as well. I just need all the stuff from in here. And I want to check that place I missed earlier. Have that. It's another iron. Shouldn't be wasting it. I can't remember where the next section was. I've been down that way. I think it's down here. Stop doing that. I need I don't need the iron so much anymore. I need the iridium though. Takes up a lot of space in my inventory. Uh, more eggplant seeds, more iridium, then I'll take the space food. I'll leave the eggplant seeds for now because I don't want to have to stow them. I'll take the shenga seed, obviously. More space food. I guess the fabric would be useful. I can come back up for the rest of that. I'll leave the uranium because I don't know what I'd do with it at the moment. I think this will be a blueprint microchip. All right, let's read this after I've oxied up. Uh, cargo ship Sorella 4, machinery log number 436. This morning on our 17th day of space travel to Stigma, the ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity. The navigation tools went crazy and the ship lost power as if it had been drained by some exterior thing. We are going to try to make an emergency landing on this unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find. There seems to be a huge storm on the surface of this planet. I hope we make it quite a few years ago. Open fusion reactor. 
Oh, I think I want to activate this, but I don't know what it uses. So I'm going to leave it. But I'm pretty sure... If it's a fusion reactor, it would take, like, deuterium or something like that. To run it. But I think if I can run this up, it'll it'll generate a lot of energy. It needs some kind of fissile... No, no, not fissile. Fusible material, I suppose. Okay, I... Well, maybe uranium. Like, I, 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 in theory, if it were fusion... No, definitely not. Put that away, because I don't know if it's not hurting me. Alright. So that bloop noise means that I'm running out of oxygen, and I, I'm not listening out for that. Entirely. Can't open these doors. There's some more debris here. Okay. Let's make sure I've got everything I might need. So there's aluminium, titanium, and cobalt. I'll take more silicon, more titanium, and then we'll head out. I'll leave those eggplant seeds until I've got a use for them. I'll have to come back up in here anyway to activate that f that, that spare fusion reactor. Alright, I think that's everything that's going to be on this ship. Because I didn't see any other ways forward. So I may have to find another wreck. I don't see any immediately around. There's the progress screen. Which the game wants me to make. I need more cobalt. I don't have any more cobalt. But I've got plenty of iridium. Well, I've got a bit of iridium. Actually. Well, with the... With this one, if I dismantle this tier 1 heater, I've now got the extra iridium I need for a second heater. And I've got everything else I need for it right now. So I can plop down that heater immediately. And that will increase my heat, out my heat output. Now, I want another tier 2 veggie tube because I've got that shanga seed. And I've also, I believe, got a uh, lima seed. So I should have two more... Uh, tier 2 veggie tubes on the go. Two more. I need two iron. So I can put the remainder, remaining iridium away. I, I've got the two iron. Four ice, two magnesium, two silicon. Okay, there's two silicon. There's two magnesium. I just need four ice. Sort that. And I'll sort my inventory as well. I can put away the aluminium and let's decode the blueprint. That gives me tier 2 agility boots. I will come to that. Alright, I just need four ice. Okay, I'm gonna put this fabric away, by the way. Because I don't need that there. Let's drink some... No, um, I'll drink some water later. Uh, Alright, I should have enough for two tier 2 veggie tubes. Let's put them here. I'm going to need to come up with a hab design. For the time being, we'll just go with this. Stick in the Shanga seed. Stick in the Lima seed. Let's check our power. We're starting to brush up against our power limits. But we're producing plenty of oxygen and plenty of heat. The only thing we're not producing plenty of is pressure. But how close am I to the tier 2 drill? Very close. But maybe I should put down another drill. I mean, eventually we'll get it. But we are we are pushing up the terraforming quite quickly. They said this was addictive. I understand what they mean now. I am already, like, going through my head on how I could expand and make everything go forward. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need more space. I'm going to do that. See, now I've got to start figuring out how to make that look less silly. Because what I might do is build down. That might be a good idea. Build like a, a second story below it. Go vertical because I've got ladders now. Presumably that's what that's for. You can build underneath. Hydration level critical. Okay. 
But I'll come to that when I come to that. I need more power for starters, so... Cobalt and silicon. Let's do it. I might have... I know I don't have cobalt, but I uh, should have some silicon on me. I've got three silicon. Means I need... You know, to utilize that. I've got the iron. I just need a shitload of cobalt. Oh, and there's another freaking... Bunch of wind happening. I want... I want some solar panels. I'm gonna go... There's a bunch of cobalt down here. I've got an oxygen capsule. I know there's a whole lot of cobalt down here, but I'm starting to... You know... I'm starting to have consumed all of the material I had up there. So it may be soon time to look for a new opportunity to settle down an outpost and start looking at that, because... I can go anywhere on the planet. As far as I can tell, and I don't have to worry about whether or not my... Uh, power will reach, or it'll be useful. There's a blueprint microchip. I'll come back to that. I only want cobalt for the time being. I'm gonna build three more solar panels. Which means I need six cobalt on hand. New blueprint received a beacon. Oh, you know what? I think I can make four. Check. So I need four iron. Which I've got. I just need one more silicon. Oxygen level low. Silicon. Lovely. Let's use that and head back up. And I'll take two more cobalt to replace my uh, oxygen capsules. One day, I'm assuming there's going to be a way to generate stuff without having to do it manually. Like, automate it with mining and so forth. Tier 3 oxygen tank. I want that now. Well, I'm going to make, I'm going to make my, uh, expand my solar farm and then I'll make that. I'm going to stick to my current plan. Okay. Let's just, let's just do that. Let's expand my solar farm and then we'll worry about... Uh, the oxygen tank, because I'm okay for now. I need, I can build f four more, right? That's what I designed this to look like. I want that, I, I want that, I want that flush and square for personal reasons. What does it look like that? Okay, that should be producing a shitload of power. I get the feeling this cave's going to be important, which is why I don't think I'm going to be done with this outpost soon, but I am going to need to think about moving elsewhere. And we may have another- oh shit me, sideways, let's get back inside. Oh, that looks like it's coming straight for me, that's ter- <laughs> I got genuinely scared by that meteor, I think it was almost directly coming towards me. I should be safe inside, I'm hoping. Uh, tier 2 mining speed. Okay, let's look at this oxygen. This is a tier 3 backpack, which I'm wearing. Iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium, aluminium. Aluminium. So I, don't have, I don't have any of it. I've got one aluminium. But... I'll need... Well, I've got the titanium and the iron, I just need a silicon and a magnesium. Let's wait until this freaking storm's over. We are almost at the pressure we need for the tier 2 drills, which I'll start putting down more frequently. That way I don't have to waste time putting tier 1 drills down. Bloody Nora! Uh, I don't know how this beacon would help. It uses energy. We are moving towards the tier 2 solar panels, we'll have that shortly. Okay. 
It's almost over. Double check. Silicon and magnesium. That'll have created a bunch of stuff, at least. Like, that generates... ...material. Hopefully some silicon. What is up with this planet that is constantly getting bombarded by meteors? Sounds like someone's angry with it. Less than magnesium. That's iron, but it doesn't hurt. Some silicon? Any silicon would be nice. There's the tier 2 drill, okay. Okay, actually not much, just extra titanium and iron. Okay, so be picking up titanium. Like that. And iron, for, the, for that matter. And I'll probably break down that... drill I have and replace it. Might as well. Uh, silicon. I need silicon is what I need. Do I have a spare oxygen tank on me? I'm going to try not to use that. There we go. I've got what I need. Let's head back. And let's eat. Okay. I know. Oxygen level low. I'm getting back inside. You. Tier 3 oxygen tank. Goes to 280. Uses a bunch of shit. Take all the iron and titanium. Oh, I've got a lot of titanium. I've got a lot of iron. And let's put down a few extra drills. A lot of titanium around here I haven't gotten yet. Okay. I can put down... Well, in th with the iron I've got, I can put down four of these. I ought to have enough power for it. They might as well go here. If they're going to go anywhere. And one titanium down. That might actually be plausible. It's just getting dark, so I can't see. Did I mention I don't mind the soundtrack of this game at all? It's quite nice. It's tense enough, but it doesn't... Like, it doesn't distract me. But it's still, like... Setting a nice sci-fi tone. Alright, that should... I should still have enough power. I better check on that. Here comes a storm. We are now making a shitload of pressure. Five nanopascals per second, a sh you know, a shitload by my standards. So we'll be at tier 2 um, solar panels pretty sharpish. Things are going up. Things are going forward. There's the food grower. I think it's parts per trillion now, so it was parts per quadrillion before. The food grower. That'll be good. I've got loads of eggplant seeds for that. Inside. Okay. I'm, I'm already addicted to this game, aren't I? Uh, numbers going up. The numbers going up is very, very pleasing. There it is. Okay, and that requires iron, magnesium, silicon, cobalt, cobalt, and aluminium. But it produces... 19.5 energy per second, whereas this produces 6.5. So definitely I want to be replacing my tier 1s with tier 2s. Hydration level critical. I got it. I want to be utilizing that. Alright. I'll need those food growers soon, because I'm starting to run out of like food I found around the place. And I'm not going to get it, so I'd better probably move further afield. 
Oh, I've got something, some use for super alloys. Anyway, we'll come back to that once we're ready to.